Are you tired of feeling like no matter how hard you try, you're not getting anywhere in life? In this video, we delve into the teachings of Buddhism to uncover why good people often struggle to find success and how you can break free from this cycle. Lesson 1. Fear of Taking Risks Fear is a natural human emotion that often stems from uncertainty and the unknown. Good people, with their innate desire to do the right thing and avoid causing harm, may find themselves trapped by the fear of taking risks. They may hesitate to step out of their comfort zones, fearing failure or the potential consequences of their actions. In Buddhism, fear is recognized as one of the primary obstacles to spiritual growth. The Buddha himself taught that fear arises from attachment and clinging to the illusion of permanence. By understanding the impermanent nature of existence and embracing the concept of impermanence, we can overcome our fears and develop the courage to take risks. Fear, a powerful force that holds us back. Good people often hesitate to step out of their comfort zones, fearing failure, rejection, or disappointment. Buddhism teaches us that fear arises from attachment, attachment to outcomes, to our self-image, and to the opinions of others. To overcome this fear, we must cultivate detachment. By recognizing impermanence and embracing uncertainty, we can take calculated risks without being paralyzed by fear. By cultivating awareness of our thoughts and emotions, we can observe fear as it arises without becoming overwhelmed by it. Through this practice, we learn to acknowledge fear without allowing it to dictate our actions enabling us to take calculated risks with confidence and resilience. One obstacle that prevents good people from achieving their goals is the fear of taking risks. Buddhism teaches us that fear stems from attachment and craving for security and stability. By avoiding risks, we hold ourselves back from growth and limit our potential. Embracing uncertainty and transforming fear into courage allows good people to explore new avenues, expand their horizons, and forge their path toward success. Lesson 2. Lack of Confidence Confidence is essential for success in any endeavor, yet many good people struggle with feelings of inadequacy or self-doubt. They may underestimate their abilities and hesitate to pursue their goals, fearing failure or criticism from others. In Buddhism, self-confidence arises from a deep understanding of one's inherent worth and potential for growth. The Buddha taught that all beings possess Buddha nature, the innate capacity for awakening and enlightenment. By recognizing our intrinsic value and cultivating self-compassion, we can overcome feelings of inadequacy and develop unwavering confidence in ourselves. Confidence is the cornerstone of progress, yet Good people sometimes doubt their abilities and worthiness. Buddhism emphasizes self-awareness, knowing our strengths and weaknesses without judgment. When we recognize our inherent Buddha nature, our innate wisdom and compassion, confidence naturally arises. Good people must learn to trust themselves and their capacity for growth. By extending compassion and kindness towards ourselves, we learn to embrace our imperfections and appreciate our unique strengths. Through this practice, we develop a sense of inner security and confidence that empowers us to pursue our goals with determination and resilience. Lack of confidence is another roadblock towards progress. Buddhism emphasizes the importance of cultivating self-confidence through self-awareness and understanding one's true nature. By recognizing our inherent worthiness and developing self-acceptance, Good people can break free from self-doubt and tap into their true potential. Lesson 3. Being too passive. Good people often possess qualities such as kindness and empathy, which can sometimes be mistaken for passivity or indecision. They may avoid conflict or confrontation, preferring to maintain harmony and peace in their relationships. In Buddhism, Passivity is seen as a hindrance to personal growth and spiritual development. The Buddha taught the importance of right action, taking proactive steps to alleviate suffering and promote well-being. While kindness and compassion are highly valued, 
They should be accompanied by wisdom and discernment to guide our actions effectively. Good people often prioritize others' needs over their own. While compassion is admirable, passivity can hinder personal growth. Buddhism teaches right action, a balance between self-care and altruism. By asserting ourselves when necessary, we honor our own well-being and contribute more effectively to the world. By being fully present in each moment, we can respond to situations with clarity and intentionality, rather than reacting out of habit or fear. Through mindful awareness, we learn to navigate the complexities of life with skillful means, taking assertive yet compassionate action when necessary. Passivity can hinder the progress of even the most well-intentioned individuals. Buddhism emphasizes the doctrine of karma and the importance of taking personal responsibility. By actively engaging in life, good people can manifest their intentions and create positive change. Buddhism teaches us to be proactive, assertive, and execute action aligned with our values. Lesson 4. Resistance to Change Change is inevitable in life, yet many good people resist it, clinging to familiar routines and comfort zones. They may fear the unknown or feel overwhelmed by the prospect of change, preferring to stay within the confines of what is safe and familiar. In Buddhism, change is embraced as an integral part of the natural order of things. The Buddha taught that all phenomena are subject to impermanence, the constant flux and flow of existence. By recognizing the impermanent nature of all things, we can cultivate acceptance and adaptability in the face of change. By reflecting on the transient nature of life and letting go of attachments, we can navigate change with grace and equanimity. Through this practice, we learn to embrace change as an opportunity for growth and transformation, rather than as a source of fear or resistance. Resistance to change is a barrier that prevents good people from reaching their full potential. Buddhism teaches that all things are impermanent and that change is an inherent part of life's fabric. By embracing change, adapting, and letting go of attachment to the past, good people can move forward and open new doors of possibilities. Lesson 5. Difficulty in Negotiating Good people may struggle with negotiating effectively, whether in personal relationships or professional settings. They may prioritize harmony and compromise, avoiding conflict or assertiveness out of fear of causing harm or discomfort to others. In Buddhism, skillful communication is emphasized as a means of fostering understanding and resolving conflicts peacefully. The Buddha taught the importance of right speech, speaking truthfully, kindly, and with mindfulness of the impact of our words on others. By cultivating compassionate communication skills, we can navigate negotiations with integrity and empathy, seeking mutually beneficial outcomes while upholding our values. By cultivating feelings of goodwill and compassion towards others, we can approach negotiations with an open heart and a genuine desire to find common ground. Through this practice, we learn to communicate with empathy and understanding fostering harmony and cooperation in all our interactions. The ability to negotiate is crucial in both personal and professional spheres. Buddhism emphasizes skillful communication and the practice of right speech. By cultivating patience, harmony, and compassion, good people can improve their negotiation skills, resolve conflicts, and forge mutually beneficial agreements. Lesson 6 lack of strong mentors. Good people may lack strong mentors or role models to guide them on their journey of personal and spiritual growth. Without wise guidance and support, they may struggle to navigate life's challenges and make informed decisions. In Buddhism, the importance of spiritual friendship is emphasized as a means of supporting one another on the path to awakening. The Buddha encouraged his disciples to seek out wise mentors and spiritual companions who could offer guidance and encouragement along the way. By surrounding ourselves with virtuous and wise individuals, we can draw inspiration and support for our own journey of self-discovery and growth. 
By engaging in meaningful conversations and mutual support, we can learn from one another's experiences and insights, accelerating our progress on the path to awakening. Through this practice, we find strength and encouragement in the company of like-minded individuals, propelling us forward on our spiritual journey. Mentors play a vital role in guiding and inspiring individuals on their journey. Buddhism recognizes the importance of spiritual guidance and spiritual friendship. By seeking wise mentors who embody noble qualities, good people can receive valuable advice, support, and encouragement to overcome obstacles and reach higher levels of achievement. Lesson 7. Failure to Adapt Good people may struggle with adapting to changing circumstances or unexpected challenges. They may cling to rigid expectations or beliefs, resisting the fluidity of life and the inevitability of change. In Buddhism, adaptability is emphasized as a vital skill for navigating the complexities of existence. The Buddha taught that all things are subject to impermanence and change, and that clinging to fixed notions of reality leads to suffering. By cultivating flexibility and openness, we can navigate life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity. Life is dynamic and circumstances shift. Good people may hold on to rigid beliefs or routines, resisting adaptation. Buddhism encourages mindfulness, being fully present and adaptable. By staying open to change, good people can navigate life's twists and turns with grace. By cultivating present moment awareness, we can observe our thoughts and emotions without becoming entangled in them. Through this practice, we learn to respond to life's challenges with wisdom and resilience, adapting to changing circumstances with grace and ease. The world is in a constant state of flux, and adaptability is a key component of success. Buddhism teaches us to develop qualities such as flexibility, resilience, and openness to change. By embracing impermanence and being adaptable, good people can navigate challenges effectively and seize opportunities as they arise. Lesson 8. Difficulty in Saying No Good people may struggle with setting boundaries and asserting their needs, fearing rejection or disapproval from others. They may prioritize the needs of others over their own sacrificing their well-being in the process. In Buddhism, self-care and self-respect are emphasized as essential components of spiritual practice. The Buddha taught the importance of cultivating loving-kindness towards oneself, setting healthy boundaries, and honoring one's own needs and aspirations. By learning to say no when necessary, we can protect our own well-being and cultivate a sense of inner balance and harmony. Good people often say yes to everything, fearing disappointment or hurting others. Buddhism teaches right discernment, knowing when to say no with compassion. By setting healthy boundaries, good people preserve their energy and focus on what truly matters. By extending kindness and compassion towards ourselves, we learn to recognize our own worth and honor our own needs and boundaries. Through this practice, we develop the strength and confidence to assert ourselves respectfully and assertively, saying no when necessary to protect our own well-being and integrity. The inability to set healthy boundaries can impede progress and lead to overwhelm and burnout. Buddhism teaches the importance of balance and moderation. By cultivating mindfulness and discernment, good people can learn to prioritize their well-being and gracefully say no when necessary, enabling them to focus on what truly matters. The spiritual teachings of Buddhism offer profound insights into the reasons why good people may not get anywhere in life. By understanding and addressing these obstacles, we can overcome them and embark on a journey of personal and spiritual development. Through mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom, we can cultivate the courage, resilience, and clarity needed to navigate life's challenges with grace and integrity. May these teachings inspire and guide us on our path towards greater happiness, fulfillment, and awakening.